We will also tell him that we can stay here for the next 100 days. Why? Because our people are there for over 100 days. We can stay here for 100 days. The people that they were bargaining with, they, that were in prison, they summoned courage and they came out and released them. So now that those, their people have been released, they see those people as liabilities. So they can eliminate them and that's why they flog them. That's why they march at them. That's why they give them all sorts of treatment. Following the release of a new video by terrorists in which victims of the Abuja Kaduna train abduction were being brutalized, the relatives staged a protest at the Federal Ministry of Transportation in Abuja on Monday. The protesters, who expressed their frustration with the prolonged stay of their families in captivity, threatened to remain at the scene of the protest till the abductees were released. Speaking to journalists, the protesters said they had lost faith in the government's commitment to rescue their loved ones. No, we, we don't have confidence in the federal government and um, this is not the first time the federal government is saying they are on top of the situation. If I remember, I have seen the president's directives on four occasions directing the security chiefs that um, they should do whatever necessary to rescue our family members. But you can only imagine today is 128 or 19... 117. Uh, 117. So by that, to that they have been in captivity. Um, this has been very gruesome for family members. Um, when I was leaving my house this morning, my father was crying that he wants to come and join me in the protest. I had to, my mother had to hold him back. Sorry, how old is your father? 67 years old. And there are older fathers that have children in captivity. I know a father who is 92 years old. He has a son in captivity. He has been sick for over two weeks now. That old man has been sick for over two weeks now. These are some of the situations that we are going through. Not to talk of what our family members in captivity are going through. We're not here to see the minister. We are here to collect our family members. We are not here for assurances. We are here to get our family members from the ministry that they boarded a train to Kaduna. That's why we are here. They promise us that they will do something about it. Until now, nothing has been done about it. And those terrorists are requesting for a uh, hundred million. Anybody that wants their person to be released has to pay a ransom of hundred million. Where are we going to get hundred million from? It's very hard you see each any of us working, receiving hundred uh, hundred thousand for salary. Then uh, where are we going to get money to uh, f uh, to reach hundred million for we to release our destiny? What we know, our people are in the hands of Ministry of Transport because they use the train station, they use the train to go to Kaduna before this happened. That is why we are pleading on federal government and Ministry of Transport to stand up and do something about this quick and fast because we are not going to take this again. Hafsat Abdullahi. Her daughter's name is Islam. Two years now. For inside Bush there, but she's one year, eight months before they left. Now the inside Bush there, she complete two years. My uh, her, uh, my daughter talked to her husband. She said they're there for these people, and they don't beat them. They don't do them anything. Then they here with the baby. All the, even those people must say, "Oh, guy, you want to talk to your baby? Not to your baby. Look at your baby here, baby." Chicken, and that's why that, that day, the second day when they carried them, that the day where we hear their voice last, with that. Since then, up to today. Yes, maybe then it is. The video. Yes, yes. I see them. I see them. When they is she old, she old, she don't spoil, finish, she old. See her now. The baby, where this last video now, where there's. When they bring out yesterday, you know, say when they flog uh, the men, the women they come outside for inside bush like this. Now she carried the baby with red cloth for her hand like this. Some accused Nigeria's first lady, Aisha Buhari, of being silent rather than lending a voice towards the release of the abductees. What is she doing? Is she not a mother? Is she not a grandmother? 
What is she doing even for once? She has never come out to say anything to anybody. Hey. Is she not a mother? Sorry. Is she not a grandmother? The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Magdalene Ajani, addressed the protesters, urging them to take more impactful decisions, including interacting with security agencies. Um, job of rescuing your loved ones, rescually on the intelligence agency. And we are working with them. And we keep giving you updates as we get it from the times that we interact. Now you have come today and said, this is what is happening. And I was just trying to get the information from how you are getting this, because we all know that there was no demand for money at the start off. And the first set of people were rescued without any money. And this was done entirely by the security agents. And we were called in to receive the victims before they were reunited with their families. Now you are saying that they are demanding for a hundred million naira, I believe, per person. Yes. We have heard the information. We have also heard the cry of why our mother of the nation has not made any response. Our role is to communicate this to the necessary and the relevant um, bodies. Because we are determined to be here forever. I can assure you that the government is taking responsibility. The, the welfare of everybody is the uh, duty of the government. So government is taking responsibility. For us, we may be seeing it as if nothing is being done. But I can assure you that a lot is being done behind. But there are things you do that will spoil everything. Who will be seeing people going in and out? If they have any information, they should give it to government. They should not be afraid that if I tell government something, because government are not uh, miracle workers. They are also relying on information that they get from the citizens. So I can assure you that government is uh, sir, on are we... After hours at the scene, the Minister of Transportation, Moaz Asambo, arrived and addressed the protesters. Noting that he had just resumed office, Sambo asked the protesters to afford him some time to get acquainted with the details of the case and assured them that the abductees would be released. So I know exactly what you people are going through. One of the victims is also related to me, Sadiq. Sadiq, uh, uh, the son of Professor Abdullah, uh, Abdullah. He's my cousin. He's released. I know. Everybody else will be released, inshallah. Now, I want to tell you, please, give me the opportunity. Let me resume in this office. This will be the first matter I'm going to tackle by the grace of God. I have asked God to guide me, to lead me in this assignment. And I know God will not fail me. And God will not fail Nigerians. God will not fail the president. Because the president means well for this country. All of us know that. It is for us who are supporting him, who are in government to help him make sure that every citizen is catered for, every citizen enjoys the rights as enshrined in the constitution. You have been very patient. The government itself has not been sleeping from inquiries I have made. I took time to come here this morning because I wanted to get in touch with the right people who have been handling this issue. There are some things you don't say in public. I'm sure you appreciate that. But I want to beg you of one thing. I have just resumed. And I'm going to receive the necessary briefings this morning. He requested for the contacts of the affected families and promised to be in communication with them henceforth. I want contact names and addresses. If you have a formal association with telephone numbers that I can reach, I can assure you that we are going to be in constant engagement until this matter is sorted out, until every single person in captivity goes back home to his family members. In response, the protesters had argued that enough time had been given already for the release of the abductees. View time. Yes. We have given the government one, it's four months today that our loved ones have been in captivity. 
I don't think my father has time. I know how I left my father at home. I know how this man's father has been battling. He is currently on a wheelchair. All because of the abduction of his son. How much time do you want us to give you? How much more time do we have? How much time does the two-year-old baby, that two-year-old baby, you can see her there with her mother. How much time, how much time does she need to survive? After some persuasion, the protesters agreed to grant the minister time to be briefed on the case. He proceeded to meet with some of the family members in his office. 